G'day guys, welcome to the channel. This is, that was super quick, sorry about that. Um, that is the paper pad that I'm using for all my backup bits and pieces today. I'm using a pear tree cut file called Positively Adorable. And I'm scrapping a cute little photo of Gizmo when he was a puppy. And these are the colours that I've chosen. I have decided to go with um, tea dye. Uh, what else did I use? Tea dye, brushed corduroy and prize ribbon with a bit of scorched timber chucked in there as well. Now, I love, I don't use brushed corduroy very often because it's a very yellow brown. So I'm more drawn to the scorched timbers, ground espresso, uh, walnut stain. That That's kind of, when I go brown, I go that direction. But I do, and I, up until very recently, I don't think I'd even used my tea dye at all. And now I seem to have used it five or six times in the last, well, in 2024. <laughs> I was going to say in the last month or so. And I'm like, hang on, that's just basically 2024. So today's video, I'm going to tell you, one, it's 16 minutes long. 16 minutes isn't a lot, but I would really appreciate it if everyone, or, you know, they interacted with me a little bit more. So I'm asking everyone in this particular video, I, Taylor actually asked me to ask you this stuff, right? She wants to know, in your, sorry, that is my, that is Gizmo. Gizmo, you're right, mate. Do a voiceover. Oh, if it's not kids, it's dogs, am I right? Now, Taylor wants me to ask you, in your area that you live, so whichever country you live in, what is your favorite cake option that you like? I, because we were talking about this the other day and we were mucking around and there was, it was something on TikTok and it got us to thinking, I wonder what cakes you would say is traditionally your cake. I know that sounds weird, but we're very, very foodie orientated people. And um, yeah, we were thinking about it because I said to Taylor, well, what, what cake would you say is is Australian, like is Aussie? And I'm just, by the way, squirrel, I'm just going to town decorating the heck out of this page. I'm layering it up. I'm using the Lemon Craft paper pad from called ladies and gentlemen and it's got some beautiful colors in it it's very mass you could it's feminine but masculine if that makes sense there's lots of flowers and roses but there's also masculine pieces in it and okay if you were listening to a video two or three days ago i have worked out how to get rid of the glare i'm putting some tape across there as the week progresses, I realize the green tape is annoying, so I switch it out for masking tape. So it's cream, and it blends, and it's fine. So, um, what was I going to say? So I'm building my, this is a Scrapbook Fantasies design board, and they sent it to me, it was gifted to me, which is fan, like amazing, thank you so much. It is something I didn't even know that I needed. I've been scrapping for 20 years. I didn't know that a product like this would make so much difference to the way that I'm able to scrap and how much quicker I'm able to scrap. So I know sometimes we want to sit down and this particular layout was one of those. I just wanted to zone out and scrap. So it's not necessarily wanting to scrap quickly, but it's a tool that helps you do that if that's what you want. One... If you're like me and you get lots of time in a big block that you can scrapbook, that's fantastic. You're able to audition your pieces on top of the plastic like this with your cardstock underneath so you know where it's going to sit on the cardstock. Is it going to sit? Is it going to fit? Is it going to hang off the edge? How are we going to do it? But you're able to audition on and off it 
and then you're able to lift that design board out of the way to then do your background that to me is super helpful super super helpful because it's one of the things when you're creating videos it allows it to look a little bit cleaner the transition and you're not so I feel like I'm not flicking on and off the camera and moving things on off on off I can just do it in one piece and I think it looks a lot more organized let me know below if you think it looks more organized is this a tool that you would probably consider purchasing I will have the link in the description below not it's not okay it was gifted to me but they haven't expected promotion for it but I'm telling you now it is fantastic um, now I'm cutting the centers out of these hearts I need to get back to my my conversation about cake so I asked Taylor about what cake does she think is Australian and I asked Ange and Jen at the same time and Taylor went with mud cake and I went nah I'd say nah I reckon it's I reckon it's a lamington I reckon a lamington is our cake of choice like if you were to say to someone overseas our national cake is a lamington that makes sense am I right it makes sense um I don't know I I think like in my mind I'm thinking other countries have a cake of some description this is you're gonna get a laugh out of this I said to them well what cake do you think is uniquely American and one of them I can't remember which one said it they said a Twinkie and I just laughed I'm like hold on a minute you think their national cake is a Twinkie let me know if you're in the US let me know what is your cake your national cake because like I realize there's so many different ethnicities like in each country so you sort of go well I guess it would be debatable I don't know it was just one of those things it was one of those random conversations I have these with my kids we get into deep we go into deep dives and we just have conversations about all different things and this particular conversation was about cake it was because I pulled a jam roll out of the freezer and they said we don't like the jam one we like the chocolate one my kids are chocoholics I swear I've bred chocoholics it'll keep Willy Wonka going forever um but and I gotta be honest a, a chocolate cream roll is better than a jam roll but I bought these jam rolls for Christmas to make trifle and to be honest it's like they've got to be eaten so pull them out eat them and now the kids are saying I don't like them it's like oh really so today I'm making some jelly and I'm gonna buy some cream and some custard and I'm gonna turn it into a trifle and then magically they'll eat it oh <sighs> tell me tell me I apologize that is my child text messaging oh gee whiz um we're having oh this is another squirrel I've got it I've got to tell you this stuff this is hilarious so if you've been here for five minutes as I'm stenciling away here I'm just creating my background I love how this looks by the way that is tea dye with scorch timber on top it looks so good so I've taped the two stencils together so I've got the big open square on the bottom and then I'm using the Kayser craft grid on top so I'm keeping my white lines in between and I love that look it looks really cool um and the grid one on top was given to me by Sonia thank you so so much look at that I'm using so much of that stuff trust me and yeah okay I have to tell you something something really funny so if you've been here for a hot minute you know that Taylor has recently got a job right and <laughs> oh no um she's recently got a job and she is 
she doesn't she doesn't mind me telling you that she's a traffic controller so here in Australia we have I mean they have them everywhere I'm sure but traffic controllers so they get trained to be able to stop traffic and blah 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 keep work sites safe all that sort of thing keep the public safe all that sort of stuff so that's what she does for a job she loves it by the way absolutely loves it cannot believe it's taken her she's 25 this year this is actually her first job because if you've if you know you know she's got Asperger's um, and she's she struggled considerably with depression etc and <clears throat> excuse me sorry I got dry throat hang on a sec oh wow okay so sorry I'm trying not to sneeze and I'm trying not to cough so she actually <laughs> this job site that she's on they're building a new building so they're building I think it's eight stories I think it's eight stories high and it's an apartment block it's motel hotel I don't know apartments or something rather anyway she has nothing to do with the building side of it just the comings and goings of all the trucks and all that sort of stuff anyway over Christmas it rained and it it rained and it rained and you may have seen it on the news you know we flooded like there was a lot of flooding anyway the basement they the Taylor even recalls hearing the site, man, site foreman say, make sure the drains are working before we leave. Like, they have to be working because, it, you know, we're having two weeks off over Christmas. Like, we don't want to come back to a mess. Well, guess what? They came back to a really big mess because the basement flooded, right? And unfortunately, in the basement was all the prefabbed cupboards and whatnot for the eight floors of units right so all of that had to get chucked out the whole lot it was ruined okay gone all the kitchen cabinets everything anyway a week or two ago last week beginning of last week was it i think it was beginning of last week we had some flooding i'm just doing some stitching here guys doing some stitching and I don't make you watch all the stitching though. Look, bang with the magic powers at B. It is stitched. Now, I do stitch around the title as well. And then I just put it all down ready to go. So I'm just attaching everything together while it's on top of this. Now the story, anyway, back to the story. Quick story. So it flooded. Anyway, last week... There's going to be flooding. There's going to be flooding. Make sure everything, make sure the drains are working. Nah, did it again. Basement flooded. Taylor's just sent me a message because we've got a heap of rain coming. And she sent me a message and she's gone, oh no, not the basement again. Like they have not stopped pumping water out of this basement. It is insane. And like, like I said to Taylor, like who's going to buy these units when... I'm not telling you where they are, by the way. Um, and it's like, who's going to buy these units? They flood all the time. Like, this is ridiculous. Anyway, but yes, it's a bit of an ongoing joke. So as you can see here, I'm just going around and poking holes and I went slightly crazy and I stitched around the entire border. This page took all day because I got it in my head that I wanted to it's just a simple stitch but it's a long way around all of those letters so if you're going to do something like this make sure you've got a good coffee on board because I don't even know I don't think I've ever done that and gone and stitched all the way around I don't think I've ever done it but it looks really cool so um, yeah so this is just about time for me to put it all together and I was very happy to get to the end of the word positively because I was positively not enjoying the last part of it. My fingers were getting sore. So, um, yeah, so there's my layout, guys. I'm putting it all together now and can you see how much quicker it makes the end process using the design board? It's all there. It's all done. 
the background it's done separately and then just bring it together and just glue it down I realize gluing things as you go is also good but when you're doing videos I think it makes it run a little bit smoother so there you go guys that is my layout don't forget to like subscribe leave me your cake the cake that you guys eat in your country that you would consider your national cake what is it so there you go I'm zooming right in so you can see all the stitching so I've stitched the offset on positively no it's not the offset it's the actual letter that printed so yeah it's I love those denim pieces they look like they're literally denim it's so cool so thank you so much for watching thank you for listening to my crazy stories and I have so many of them and I've got like eight videos to voice over so you're going to hear some more stories in the next video Thank you so, so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all the fun stuff. Buy me coffee links in the description as well. And I'll see you over in the Facebook group. See you in the next video, guys. Bye for now.